All right, part two of talking about the formation of acetals and ketals. So the mechanism for this and the reaction, it's very, very similar to the hydration of aldehydes and ketones. And there's five basic steps that we can look at. The first one is we're going to have nucleophilic, nucleophilic attack by ROH. Okay, so the alcohol is still going to come in here. It's going to attack the ketone or attack the carbonyl carbon. In this case, we're dealing with a ketone. It can also happen with an aldehyde. And that makes your tetrahedral intermediate, and then you're going to result with your hemiacetal or hemiketal. Here we have a hemiketal because we started with a ketone. And this can be catalyzed under acidic and basic pH. Okay, a couple of things that can happen. Um, under acidic pH, what you can do is you can activate the electrophile by protonating that. Or under basic pH, what you can do is instead of ROH, you can have RO minus attacking. Okay, so acidic, basic pH, uh, both of those are going to speed up the formation of the hemiacetal or hemiketal. Um, one by activating the acid activates the electrophile, and the basic conditions activates the nucleophile. Exact same thing that we saw with the addition of water to aldehydes and ketones. Now, once you have your intermedi intermediate species, okay, whereas the first reaction was just adding or eliminating via nucleophilic attack, the second reaction, uh, to give you a full ketal or a full acetal, it's going to depend upon the substitution of this OH, okay, the substitution of this OH with another RO group. And what you want to do in order to get rid of this OH is you want to protonate it. So you want OH2 plus so that you can kick this thing out. Base can't do that. Only alcohol, can, only the acid can do that. So that's why the formation of the ketals and the uh, acetals only happens at acidic pHs because what you need to do is you need to kick out the OH. OH is a terrible leaving group, but if you protonate it, it can become a good leaving group. Uh, once this happens, the ROH can, once the, um, once the OH2 can leave, the ROH can come in there, add, and give you your full acetal or ketal. So a couple of important things to remember. The formation of a hemi species happens under acidic or basic pH, but the formation of a full uh, acetal or ketal only happens under acidic pHs. Okay, so that's how we add. Last video in the series, what we're going to talk about is how do you hydrolyze and reverse this reaction?